Hello everyone, welcome back again and hope you enjoyed the last session on Scuba 101, the essential guide to diving in East Asia. Asia. Hello everyone, welcome back again and hope you enjoyed the last session on Scuba 101. Right, many apologies for that. Um, so, ADEX Pixel Expo 8 monthly webinar series, Global Webcast. As we convene on a united cause, which is our love for diving and the ocean, um, I'd just like to um, reiterate that ADEX Pixel Expo 8 monthly virtual event 2021 celebrates the diversity of the ocean and its diving landscape with a series of events happening on the eight of every month with an aim to bring trending dialogues and also deep rooted tales on the powers of scuba diving and inspirational guests with insightful stories and for the session this july we are of course focusing on east asia but before we jump into that uh, we have a special showcase as we are for the very first time premiering adex pixel 360 degree underwater virtual dive expo the launch of world's first underwater main stage and we have here of course uh is Tariq, uh project manager from adex dive expo tech partner actuality to dive mastered our way into the exploration of adex dive pixel expo 360 atlantis so hi Tariq, thank you for joining us and the ocean is yours hi nara thanks so uh i'll be turning my screen on and showing you the build uh give me a second yeah Okay, how is this? All right, so today I'll be taking you through the uh, current work in progress build for ADEX, uh, ADEX's underwater 360 environment. Um, where we are right now is the landing area where you will first begin the journey through the expo. Uh, so as we head inside, uh, we are first greeted by the information booth where it will update any current news regarding ADEX and the industry as a whole. And uh, moving on, we will arrive at the underwater main stage area. So here we are, uh, will be updated later so that you can watch the live stream. Uh, the live screen here will, uh, will show the video of the live stream and other videos when uh, the event is not, is not on. So think of it as a screen for on-demand video content. Besides the main stage, uh, this is also the main gathering hub for visitors. So to the right, um, you'll be able to explore booths that provide information and education. Um, they will include a zone for dive safety, education, and an underwater library, all that you can um, peruse at your own time, at your own leisure, uh, come in and out whenever you want when the bill is completely ready. So you can go at your own pace. To the left, uh, we have um, these spot reserved for, for products. So I'll get a bit closer. Here we are. Um, think of it as a bazaar on the seafloor, which will include zones that are familiar to those who uh, frequent ADEX, such as uh, dive destinations, liverboards, dive gear and equipment, tech diving, and much more that will come. Each of these zones uh, will be equipped with a screen for videos pertaining to that area. So whenever there are uh, live streams or videos regarding those products, um, they will all go into those zones so you know where to find them. Um, uh, along with that, uh, each of these zones will also have an area for businesses to conduct networking. So exhibitors will not have to worry about that. Uh, it'll be um, functional for both visitors and ex exhibitors uh, alike. Um, the exhibitors who sign up will also have a 3D booth uh, in this space. So uh, here's a preview of one of the areas. Right now, they're just placeholders for indications of uh, how the, the, the booth placements might be. Um, and uh, coming next, uh, next ADEX webinar, hopefully we can show you the designs of, of these booths. Um, and that is basically the gist that, that concludes this presentation and, and this uh, 360 build that we've been working on. All right, thank you so much, Tariq, um, for um, you know joining us and also to um, share with us a little bit more of uh, what is um, ADEX uh, Pixel 360 degree underwater virtual dive expo and also the showcase of the first underwater main stage. Uh, we do have a little 
questioned here um, by the audience, and that is, what is the inspiration to ADEX Pixel Expo 360 landscape? Mm, so, um, for ADEX 360, we wanted to create an underwater space that reflects the vastness and the depth of the ocean. Um, so you can see that with the massive underwater mountain. Tarek, uh, do you mind if you can share the um, video again? Sure, sure. Audience uh, can actually have a look at it again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can see it here in the background. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you, you were mentioning uh, what is actually the inspiration to the landscape. Yeah. So uh, for, for the landscape, we wanted to show just how deep and how vast the ocean can be. So we want to include structures that are huge and, and like tower over people. Um, besides that, we also wanted to, to tap into the, um, the curiosity of viewers and, um, and, and show them how they could explore a, a 360 space um, by a, a, an immer like in a very immersive uh, environment. So we decided to create this lost underwater civilization and we use ruins and buildings inspired by um, eco roman architecture so that uh, exhibitors can be a part of and uh, visitors can come in, explore and interact with as well. Okay, and we have another question and it's something to do with what would be the best way to an expo through edx pixel expo 360 and is there any special gadget to fully experience and immerse into it so um, we wanted we wanted to make it accessible for everyone so we started with the simplest way to navigate uh, so that would be your personal mobile device uh, which is the mobile phone uh, all of the gestures used to navigate in our environment is very similar to how would you how would you use a uh, mobile device to explore digital content. So that means swiping, pinching, tapping. It's all very easy and it's all very functional. Um, but primarily, we design our experiences with freedom of movement in mind. So we hope that comes across. Uh, but you may also use a VR headset or VR goggles to get like a much more immersive experience. So it is designed intuitively, uh, I, I mean, adding on. Um, and last question, uh, can we control what we watch on the underwater main stage? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the underwater main stage will um, firstly feature live streaming content uh, during the scheduled events. Uh, but offline, it is a host to a variety of videos, past webinars and talks uh, that you can watch anytime you want. The pool of videos will be regularly updated and you have, uh, you have the option to go through and watch any video you want on demand. All right, thank you so much, Tariq, for your time and also for sharing with us this. And um, of course, uh, everyone, if you would like to uh, experience and join in uh, to immerse into the edX Pixel 360 Atlantis or World or whatever that you call it, you can just uh, scan the QR code on the poster. Uh, which we will be sharing on the comment and also the link that is currently at the comment at the moment. So feel free to give it a try and uh, thank you Tariq.